Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you're watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video, we are going to create a concept logo just to show that how easy it is to create logos using some basic tools in Adobe Illustrator. So let's begin. So first of all, we are going to create a circle. So press and hold shift button to create a perfect circle. And I'm going to turn off the fill color and I'll apply black color. We can always change the color. So for now, I'm going to keep it to black and I'm going to increase the width of the outline. So there is no such fixed width in this example. You can always change the width. So I'm going to keep it to 40 for now and using the knife tool or rather the scissor tool, I'm going to click it on this point over here and one point over here. And I'm going to delete the remaining area. So I'm going to keep it this part. Now using the pen tool, I'm going to connect this particular part. So pen tool. Now click on the anchor point and press and hold shift to get a straight line. Now click over here and using the dynamic guides, we can already show, see that that is in the straight line. So I'm going to finish or complete the path. So this is how it will look. Now I'm going to convert this first, first ex expand. So this will be created into a shape. Now we need to take a rectangle. So if you, if you want to create a square, you can simply press and hold shift or you can first create rectangle and then you can change the dimensions, whatever way that is easy to you. So I'm going to change the color of uh, this particular rectangle so that we can see this other shape. So I'm going to keep it over here and I'm going to place it in front of the rectangle. So control shift and square bracket or command shift square bracket if you're using Mac. Now I'm going to properly place it in on this particular square. So this is how it will look. Now if you're not sure that whether it is perfectly matched, you can simply press control Y or command Y to get the outline view or you can simply go to view and outline preview there it is preview so th this looks good to me now what are we going to do is we are going to select this particular shape that we have created and going to go to object and then we are going to use the path and offset path option now again we need to choose this accordingly you can use different values so maybe i will use maybe 62 and okay so what i want is i want this area to be removed from this shape so i'm going to select all the object first and I'm, i don't want this area so using the shape builder tool that is the best part about illustrator that we can easily create shapes from other shapes now using the shape builder tool, which is here, shape builder tool and using alt or option key, we can remove the unwanted area, alt, I'm pressing alt key and simply remove the unwanted area. So we have got our logo. So it is that easy to create logos in Adobe Illustrator. Now this is only a concept logo, but you get the idea that we can create different variations of logos using some simple shapes and simple properties and simple tools. Now uh, we can, we have to check the layers panel. Now see, we have some unnecessary parts. So I'm going to remove some unnecessary parts. So this is unnecessary. This one is also, so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to remove this from the group. So these are all two shapes that we were looking for. So this looks a pretty neat and clean logo that we can use as a concept logo, maybe uh, any brand that you are creating logo for. So I'm going to write down text for this particular logo. So I will write down, I will keep the distance to zero, word sp line spacing or letter spacing. So maybe graphics. I'm 
I'm going to color it to and maybe graphics studio maybe studio and I'm going to decrease the size I'll make this text a bit darker and I'm going to increase the spacing or you can simply use alt key or option key alt key plus right arrow key to increase the words letter spacing so this is how it will look so this is only a concept logo or you can always play with the colors color combinations so if you want different color combinations you can use different color combinations for now i'm going to clip it to black and gray and if you want different variation i'm what i'm going to do is i will color this gray and what i'll do is i will create a black rectangle right click arrange send to back and i'm going to make this white i'll keep this as gray this one may be a little brighter and maybe this is white a little more darker maybe so this is how we can create logos easily in adobe illustrator you can use different variation and different shapes it is just to show that how effective the tools are in adobe illustrator tools and properties both so you can try this logo out and you can also try this some different logos different variation with different color combinations so that's it for this video i hope you like this video if you do please Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye and cheers.